go here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is apply Pro 400 uh, Frontier V2, the updated one. Then I'm going to go down, and I actually start at the bottom because I add a little bit of grain to my images. I enable profile corrections. I always do a little bit of noise reduction and then I turn my sharpening off. Then I really only mess with the basic panel. So I start by raising my shadows, clipping my highlights just a little bit, and then bringing up my exposure. I will check the skin tone just to make sure that the skin tone is not overexposed, but it's still bright, which I really like that. Um, honestly, your temperature here is pretty pretty spot on. Um, I might add a little bit of contrast for some pop, but other than that, this is really, really pretty. I might go down into my greens and desaturate them just a smidge and make them a little bit less blue. And then I usually uh, go to full screen just to make sure that everything looks really good. And I would probably deliver something like that. Let's go to your second image. So I would straighten this first. Crop it down just a little bit. Apply V2, the updated one. And then I'll start from the bottom, add a little bit of grain. Enable profile corrections, turn my sharpening off, a little bit of noise reduction. And then again, most of my work is done in the basic panel. I raise my shadows, clip my highlights, raise my exposure, bring in a little bit of contrast. The coloring here is um, a little bit off, so I would probably bring down my pinks just a little bit and warm it up just a little bit. I would probably deliver something like that. For this reception image, I'm going to do the same thing. Apply the import preset. A little bit of grain. Enable profile corrections. Noise reduction, sharpening off. And then obviously because this is a reception image, we have to do a little bit more tweaking. So this one's going to take me a little bit longer. I'm going to raise the exposure, clip my highlights just to make sure nothing's blown out. This is a little bit warm, so I will cool this down quite a bit, actually. Mm. So that's starting to be really, really pretty. Um, if you wanted to add a little bit of contrast here, if you wanted to brighten the background here, I would probably put... Like if this was going in their album, I would probably put a radial filter around the couple and bring up the exposure just a tad um, around them. And that kind of makes it look a little bit better for an album. So for this image, I'm going to do the same exact thing. Apply V2. So you're not going to worry about the weird color casts just yet. Okay, so this one needs a little bit of work. Obviously her skin tone is a little bit green, um, but we should be able to fix that. So again, I'm going to lift my shadows pretty heavily because there's a lot, if you notice, look at how many shadows um, are in her face. So I'm gonna lift my shadows quite a bit, clip my highlights so we're not losing much detail here. And then this is gonna need a little bit more contrast than the other images because it's backlit. So I'm going to bring the temperature down a little bit and we are going to combat that green by adding some pink. So I would probably use my brush tool for this and add some pink and a little bit of desaturate over her face. Um, I would probably spend a little bit more time on this image, making sure that it was perfect. I might even pull this one into Photoshop just because of the color casts. But for the sake of time, 
I just did um, a really quick edit for you. I would probably also mess up the greens. They're a little bit green. And actually, that tells me that that's yellow. That's behind her. So I would do a little bit of both of those. So my greens would look something like that. Um, but again, I would probably go in and do a lot more work on her face with this one. Okay, for this image, I would straighten it, crop in just a little bit so you can see the sky. There you go. And again, the same thing, applying the new updated V2, adding a little bit of grain, enabling profile corrections, turning sharpening off, noise reduction on, and then go back up to your basic panel. So lifting the shadows, clipping the highlights, upping the exposure quite a bit here. You can even push it a little bit further if you wanted to. So there's some blue color casts in here in her dress, I'm assuming from the sky because it was an overcast day, it looks like. So I would probably come down here to the saturation and take out yeah, look how much blue is in that dress. So when you pull out the blue, it just makes her dress look a lot more clean. I would honestly probably bring up the exposure even more. Yeah, that's looking really pretty. Um, I would probably bring some warmth into her skin tone here. Yeah, that looks really pretty. Um, I would, again, mess with the green. So I would desaturate them just a smidge. And they're a little blue for my liking, so I would take out just a little bit of the blue there. Full screen. Again, this is a quick edit, but um, I might spend a little bit more time on this one if it were going to a client. Um, but that's pretty good. This image, another reception image. So we're going to apply V2. Go down. Go green. Enable profile corrections, noise reduction, turn sharpening off, and then back up to the basic panel. I'll lift my shadows quite a bit here and my exposure just a little bit because we want to retain all of the detail in her dress and in his shirt. You could take down the highlights, that'll help quite a bit here. Add some contrast in to give it a little bit more of a punch. I'd probably crop down on the ceiling. That looks better. Um, and again, I might throw a radial filter on if this were going to a client. There we go, that looks really pretty. And I would deliver something like that. I might warm it up just a smidge. But you wanna be careful about the yellow from the lamp that's coming in. I might even desaturate some of that yellow. Yeah, there's a lot in there. So I would deliver something like that. For this image, we'll do the same thing. V2. Add a little bit of grain. Enable profile corrections. Turn sharpening off. Noise reduction on. And then back up to your basic panel, lifting the shadows. Exposure. Clipping those highlights. This one is really pretty. This is like a one click at it right here. This is, so maybe a little bit warm, 6,000 maybe. Add some contrast, depending on how contrast you like something. That's really pretty, yeah. For this one, let's do the same thing. V2, green. Enable profile corrections, a little bit of noise reduction, no sharpening. Come back up to the top, lift those shadows, raise the exposure, clip the highlights, add some contrast. So their skin tones are a little bit cool. I'll probably warm that up to mm, pretty warm. I like that though, I think that's really pretty. Crop it in just a smidge. And I would probably deliver something like that. I might mess with the yellows here because there's a lot of yellow. 
Granted, it looks like fall, so you don't want to change the time of year too much. But I'd probably make those greens a little bit more blue and my yellow a little bit more green. Um, but that's a personal preference. I just don't love yellow in photos. Um, I might even raise my exposure even more here. Just making sure to retain those highlights and adding in contrast where you need. So that's really pretty. Okay. And then the last one, again, the same thing. The updated V2. A little bit of grain. Enable profile correction, noise reduction, no sharpening. Back up to the basic panel, lifting those shadows. Um, you're going to have to add a lot of contrast here because of how much sun is coming into your lens, which is fine, but that's just something to think about when you are editing backlit situations like this. So I might do something like that. That's really pretty. I would probably warm this up just a little bit. 6,000. I might even add a little bit of pink here from the green that's coming in. That's really pretty. And I would probably deliver something like that. And there you have it.